Alright guys, TTRX6 here, back for yet another build the Ecto-1. This is stage 16, more of the front suspension and the steering. Looks like we're going to put the front stabilizing bar in place uh, and start working the steering pinions and all the steering arms into place. Um, I don't expect this to be a terribly difficult issue, but, you know, I'm always uh, fooled. So let's get all the parts laid out and we'll come back. All right, so I think I forgot to do this last time. Uh, we've got BMs, DMs, IMs, KMs, LMs, MMs, and BPs. Uh, so you can see lots of metal, lots of things going into metal. Um, and only a little bit of plastic. And we're gonna start with our BPs, and I need all these BP screws. And we're going to take our front stabilizer bar here, which is weird. This actually is plastic, uh, when all the other pieces uh, that have connected have been metal. So this one did surprise me a little, that this is plastic. Uh, and then we take these two little, uh, I'm not sure what you would call them, and they're gonna fit right into here, and then we're gonna use our BPs to get them in place. So once you have these two guys in place, you can come back to your frame here. And they are going to connect right to here. Again with the BPs. So with those in place, we're gonna take these two brackets here and we're gonna take our BM screws, all four of them. And then these brackets go in place and they have a little peg here so you know you got the right one. Uh, but right here, and it should peg in. So I've left the sway bar uh, not completely screwed in so it can actually kind of translate on this assembly if it has to. Uh, I don't know if we'll screw that in later or not, uh, but just be aware if you're following along, maybe you don't want these to be able to move. Uh, I'll see once I'm done what the suspension does, but anyway, BM's into there. So there we go, we got that done. So with that done, we're gonna start working on the steering arm here. We're gonna put this in here and we're gonna take our KM screw and that's going to fasten right here. So with this piece done, we come back to our suspension here and so with this piece done, we come back to our frame, it goes right here. We're going to use an LM screw. And there we go, we got that in place. Okay, with this in place, we're going to take a DM screw here, and it's going to go right through the uh, steering arm and into the connector rod there. Like that, and now we're going to come back to this side. So with that in place, we're going to take this, put this right here, and we're going to take a DM on 
this side in an LM on the round side. So make sure you get that in the right way. And here it is right here. And our LM. It's gonna go right here. Let's look at it. So with that in place, we're gonna put our pinion in here and we're gonna flip it back over just like that and we're gonna use two DMs to secure this guy right in place. Also note that this is kinda keyed and so is this to make sure you get it in correctly. So with that done, we're going to go ahead and add our steering column and it's going to sit just like this and hopefully it's going to work the way it's supposed to. I have to look at that. So with that done, we're going to take our steering column and it's going to go in here and the gears are going to meet just like that. And then we're going to take the housing here and it's going to go over all this and just kind of fit in place here and then we're going to use two of the MM screws and two of the DM screws. So we need to make sure we have the right side. It's the MM is towards the wheels and the DMs go in towards the engine. So we did make one quick mistake. This is supposed to be pointed down with respect to the box here. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Uh, no sense just showing you guys taking it apart and putting it back together. So, we'll be right back. So from here, the magic is finally happening. We're going to take our engine and we're going to drop it into place right here. Our motor mounts should fit on each side just like that. Make sure that hose is out of the way. From here, we're going to use an LM securing the uh, transmission to the frame and then we're going to use two IMs to secure the engine to the frame. So let's get that going. So there we go, the motor's in place. Now we're gonna come back to here and do my favorite parts of this build, which is the hoses. Uh, again, as usual, I suspect that these are too long, but we're gonna take them and plug them into the steering, the, I guess the power steering, the rack and pinion. So there we go, we got them in place. And then the back one here, I believe goes to the bottom uh, right here. And then the forward one goes to the top. So let's see what we feel like about these lengths. I would say it's close enough. So I'm not gonna cut these ones at all. We're just gonna plug them in.
And there we go, we got those tubes in place. I don't know if I feel like I need to cut them at all. It's kind of tight, I'm afraid if I cut anything, it'll be too hard to get them on and I don't think that they're really bad looking compared to like the uh, spark plug wires. I think we're just gonna leave them like that, but if I do, I'll take them from here, cut a little off and plug them back in. But I think that looks okay. And that is everything we got for parts, but we are not done yet. No, one more exciting piece of this build. And that's right, it is time to throw on that Firestone. We're gonna take this and we're gonna take all our little drum brake feature here and we're just covering the whole thing up as we plug this wheel in. We're gonna take one of our LM screws. It's gonna go right in there. And we're gonna fasten it in. And we'll take our center cap here and try not to lose it. And we'll put that right in place here. Just push it on in. And there we go. That wheel's probably never coming off because uh, that's going to be next to impossible to get out if we ever needed to. So there we go. This is stage 16. I suspect you can imagine what stage 17 is going to be next week. So it'll be a pretty quick one. All right, see you next time.